Hi guys, Nay from our humble homestead here and we are candling our chicken eggs as promised. It's day seven today and we're going to see which embryos have developed, which are the winners, which are the quitters that started developing and didn't make it through and the yokers, the ones that didn't even get going. So we're going to separate the ones that aren't and leave the ones in there that are developing nicely and take you along the journey and show you what's inside. So I'm really excited. This is the first time we've ever done this as a family. Um, we did it with our quail's eggs, but we've never done it with chicken eggs before. If you followed our journey, I'll post a link to our video um, talking about the story of these eggs and who we're hatching them for and why and what eggs they are. Um, we need to put that back in because that we <laughs> keep that on. And let's check the white leghorn eggs first because I heard that they were really good to candle. They were really easy to see inside. So let's check this one out first. So you can use just a, um, you can buy really expensive candling um, lights or torches, but we're just using our iPhones because they've got really good LED lights on them. If you can see here. Oh, what does this one look like guys? This one looks like a yoka. Can you see there's no, veins or embryo developing it's just the yolk inside the egg so this one probably either wasn't fertilized or just didn't get going for some reason so that's definitely a yoka let's check the second one so we've got six white leghorn eggs in the incubator and this one oh can you see guys this one looks like it's got some life in it. Can you see the veins? I can't. Hold on. Mummy, keep moving it and you'll see in a minute. I'll see in the camera. This has got... So you can see here, it's quite spotty. Now that's normal for eggs. It just means the calcium hasn't been deposited evenly in the eggshell, but that doesn't affect it. This one's definitely started developing. I can't see the embryo moving, but I can see lots of blood vessels, which means it's likely started and still gonna, potentially successful. So we're gonna leave that one in. Oh, ah, this is a good one to show. This one cracked. has cracked and just exploded in the incubator. So what we're going to do is obviously get rid of this one and clean it up so it doesn't um, it infect it? any of the other eggs. We don't want to open that honey, it's probably cooked. Oh. see how we get on with this one. A little bit broken. White leghorn number four. Oh, this one here is a quitter. So this one here started developing, you can see here the line in like a ring, it is... Um, what they call a the blood vessel that goes round in a line. Now there's no more blood vessels and there's no embryo moving in here. Um, so that obviously for some reason, sometimes genetics or nature, whatever reason it is, we don't know, that one didn't continue developing. Oh boys, this is a good one. <gasps> this has got a little baby embryo in. That's it. It's moving. That's it. Hey, look at the camera. If you look at the camera, can you see here? There, it's moving around. Can you see? Oh, <gasps> yeah. It's a tiny little it's embryo. Cute. Let's see if they can get it on camera. Can you see that black dot is the baby, baby chick? Like, I saw it. I, I think they can see it. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's so amazing. You can see all the blood vessels. Now what those blood vessels do is they reach down into the part of the egg that has the yolk which it feeds off of and helps it grow. And obviously the massive bit at the pointy end is the air sac which they use to breathe from. Um, it's incredible. Can you see that, Ollie? Wow. I saw it, Ollie. So no dot, yeah? Yes. I did, and did, the dot moved like a square thing. It did, honey, you're right. Just a lot of them are infected. 
it's not infected. It's just where it blew up. Look. Oh, I think we've got another one, guys. This is another oh white leghorn. <gasps> and another embryo moving. Can you see that? Can they see that in the camera? No. The little baby oh, yeah, moving. Do you see the little brown dot? Can you see it, honey? I can, yeah. So this one is healthy and moving and developing really nicely. So we've got at least three white leghorns. They haven't, only this one. It sometimes happens with Why do they have a little number then drawing? Because the people that we got the eggs from wrote on them so we know which chicken laid which egg. So now we're on to the um, olive eggers from Brecktop Farm. Oh, sorry, the cream leg bar, the blue egg layers, the cream leg bar um, eggs. So let's try, see if we can get, oh, that's good. They're not as easy to see through as the white leghorn eggs because the eggs are darker. The egg casing is darker, but you can see here, it is definitely successfully okay. growing in there. Yeah, I see the white one in its, and it like the other one's dark. dark. That's right, Harry. And I see two of them. So we're doing good so far, guys. Ooh, how about that one? This is a really big one, isn't it? Another cream leg bar. Can we see how he's getting on? Oh, he's getting on good. He's getting on good. Oh, yeah, he's doing well as well, Toby. All right. Very good. So it's very hard to see the embryo in him. Oh, there we go. Can you see? But there's definitely lots of blood vessels and an embryo developing in this one. That's so another it. success. Can we just break it then it can grow out? Oh no, don't break them because they there's need, little chickies growing. They need to gather their power. Gather their strength. They, They're growing. Out the egg is their challenge. <laughs> so they're strong enough to walk. That's right, Toby. Because if they you just pack Oh, we've got another one. Work. Another successful chicky growing in this cream leg bar hat. I think it would be good to have a candling torch for these because it's not easy to see through the blue eggs. It's a Jacob, bit more tricky. Take a torch. Yes, he has got a torch we could use. Okay, no, it's the it's a water bottle. <gasps> another one! Oh, this one's much clearer. This one, as you can see here, has more spots. Um, again, the calcium hasn't deposited um, evenly around the egg, but that happens sometimes, that's normal. But it hasn't affected this chick. You can see all the blood vessels here. Oh, and there's the little embryo. Can I see? Can you see? No, I cannot. He is there, Toby. He went off, didn't he? He was not a very good egg. He was a rotten egg. Oh, oh, we have another one. All these cream leg bars are doing really well so far. God, so far this is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a successful hatch, I think. It's really hard to see on this iPhone. It's probably easier on the bigger iPhones to hold the egg on. Yeah, it's really tricky with this iPhone. It's too small. Should we get the laptop? Laptop. But that is a successful one, so we're happy with that. Yeah. The last cream egg bar, leg bar. Oh, yeah, another successful one. Loads of blood vessels and a little wiggling embryo inside there. I wonder mommy, if I can catch it. You could go for that one, Mommy. It's so spotty. It is. Mommy, look. That one is. Oh, good I see the Can you see it? I'm trying to catch it on the camera tapes. Should we try this iPhone instead? Thank you, honey. Let's try. I barely see it. Be a bit That is, I think, not. I think 
Oh, yeah, we've got it. We've got it here. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, isn't it's lovely. There's so many blood vessels in there. Yep, another brilliant deforming embryo in that so kind of that, that one that um, cracked honey, is that egg now extinct? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> now these are going to be trickier to check because they are obviously dark brown eggs. These are the French copper moran eggs that we talked about in the last video. Um, eggs are so dark it's really hard to see any blood vessels but we can see clearly that there is a lo there. yeah a big mass with lots of it's heavy it looks successful i'm, ha Mommy, I'm happy with that is that egg that crack and um, act <clears throat> what darling is that egg that crack is an egg wrapped <laughs> <laughs> Right, this one. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Well, it's not a yoker. It's definitely got some. Definitely got some movement in there. I'm not sure about this. So I guess when you're not sure, it's it's okay to put them back in and just um, candle them again at some point. So um, yeah, we'll candle them again on day ten. Um, the chicken group advised. Oh, this one you can see um, a little more clearly, the blood vessels. Oh, uh, yeah, and there's a little embryo in there. Brilliant. I'm more confident about that one. Oh, yeah, wow, these are doing so well. So... Our pig farmer friend will definitely be having a few chocolate egg layers, hoping that they're not all cockerels. Mummy? <laughs> yes, baby. Can we do that chocolatey one? Oh, another one. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And the last French copper moran egg, which again, is another wow. successful, successfully developing embryo in there. That's pretty cool. I really do believe this is down to the quality of the incubator and these the, the egg, turning cycles. These eggs are egg-tastic. <laughs> egg-tastic, don't you think? Oh, right, these are the buff Sussex eggs. These are a lot easier to see inside because the eggshell is so much clearer. Now, it looks like we might have a yolk here. I can't see any blood vessels. I can't see any embryo. It's just yolk mass and obviously egg white. So that one didn't start. Or maybe it started and just didn't carry on for some reason. No, don't be. It'll be gross now. Oh, wow. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Right. This one is has a blood vessel all the way around it but it looks like it was a quitter i can't see any further development but i'm not 100 percent sure but all i can see is one ring of blood vessel and no embryo i think it's sleeping it's sleeping but i am um i think that's egg failure yeah um it could be but because of my Oh, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to give that one another go, just in case. And we'll check again on day 10 to see if I was right about that one. Oh, and this one's obvious. It's good to look at, actually, because you can clearly see that it's empty. No life going on in this one, so we need to get rid of him so he doesn't explode and infect all the other eggs. This buff Sussex has hung on a bit. Oh look, can you see it wiggling? This is a winner. With a little baby dot inside. Wiggling. Can you touch one? Yes, you can touch it. Do you want to get the baby on camera? There's the 
the baby. Can I touch the little it, dot there? It's so cute. Can I touch it, please, mommy? Of course you can. Oh, I was touching my son there. Go on then. Right, we're gonna hold. So that's a couple of Buff Sussexes, two successful ones of these. And these are the olive eggers, the last six of our eggs we're incubating. These will lay olivey green eggs. They've been bred to mix their egg colours to create an egg, a green egg laying chicken, which we have in our backyard flock. Oh, what have we got here, guys? Can we tell what it is? Ollie, what do you think? That is a winner. There's a little dot there. And there's lots and lots of blood vessels. That's a winner. My first winner. We've got a winner. Egg 60. What's this? Egg 60. This one is a yoker. This oh. one didn't get going. Egg not 60. Egg Contactor. <gasps> oh, this is one's looking oh, good. Um, the, all of the lots of blood vessels. All of them. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah, you can really see it, can't you? Oh. Can't see him wiggling, but Mom I'm it. sure something's growing in there. Says so olive, which means it's the colour egg that it's mm. going to lay. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, you can see properly, can't you? Oh, that's the eggs here are going to be egg disgusting. <laughs> He's <gonna> be. <laughs> These are the good one. ones. That looks good to me, but I couldn't see the embryo wiggling, but That's I'm sure it's developing. Egg catastrophe. Oh, I think we've got another winner, guys. Yeah, another winner. Egg catastrophe is come through. Can you see a little wiggly? We've got a wiggler in here. We got twenty more to go. Twenty more, more to go. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely moving. So happy with that one. And last but not least, our last little olive egger. Yay! Another one. Another winner. Sixty. Olive egger. Sixty. There he is. You can't see, but he's right at the top. He's right at the top. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's how you candle chicken eggs on day seven. We're really pleased with that. I'm pretty impressed. It was only six eggs that were no good that were yokers or quitters. So we've got 22 chicken eggs that look like they're developing really well, and we'll keep you updated on our progress. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, everyone. Bye-bye.